following is a presentation of Tomorrow's World. Millions around the world are stressed and depressed with the fast pace of life. Knowledge is increasing at a rapid rate. Alvin Toffler introduced the expression information overload in his 1970 book titled Future Shock. How fast is the fund of world knowledge increasing? The Chronicle of Higher Education gives this perspective. Quote, feeling overwhelmed by too much information? What else is new? The amount of digital data available on the web every day reaches records of mind-boggling proportions. Now more than a zettabyte, 10 to the 21st power bytes, and presumably accumulating at an ever-creasing rate estimated at 30% growth per year from 1999 to 2002, end of quote. With all this knowledge and information, my friends, can we live an abundant life in spite of our stresses and pressures? We are living in the technology age. Science can improve our quality of living. Our individual cell phones can map our direction through GPS, the global positioning system, which operates through a system of space satellites. Scientists modify our food sources at the cellular level. Transportation systems move millions of people hundreds and thousands of miles almost effortlessly. The ancient prophet Daniel foresaw these days when he wrote in the Bible, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall increase. That's in Daniel 12 verse 4, envisioning the time of the end. My friends, we are now living in the end of time. Not only have we seen incredible advances in technology, we've also seen wars, revolts, conflicts, and overthrows of government. Thousands have died in the Syrian conflict. Hundreds have died in Egypt as the military quelled protests. At the same time, China continues to build its military, and nations continue to develop new weapons of mass destruction. And the global financial crisis has brought nations and peoples to the brink of bankruptcy. My friends, with all these pressures stressing us financially, psychologically, emotionally, and physically, can we still succeed in such a seemingly unstable world? Does your Bible reveal secrets and strategies to succeed, even in such a stressful world? My friends, your Bible reveals the way to true happiness and joy. Even in times of stress, you can succeed if you apply the keys to true success revealed in your Bible. You need to know what they are. Stay tuned. Warm greetings to all our friends around the world. Bible prophecy, history, and current events demonstrate that we are living in the biblical period called the end of time. The prophet Daniel revealed that in the end time, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. How much is knowledge increasing? The Wall Street Journal stated this, quote, From the beginning of time until 2003, we generated 5 billion gigabytes of data. By next year, that is by 2013, we will generate that much data every 10 minutes." End of quote. Regular viewers of Tomorrow's World have seen these biblical trends prophesied long ago coming to pass here in the 21st century. Our news headlines seem to present a never-ending series of conflicts, wars, and riots. The global financial crisis has severely damaged many nations and peoples. Natural disasters are setting new records of devastation, death, and destruction. Is there any hope for the future? Can we survive under these stresses? Can we even succeed in spite of stress? We'll answer those questions on today's program, and we'll be offering you an inspiring audio CD titled, The Seven Laws of Success. This audio CD is absolutely free. 
This audio CD includes two additional Tomorrow's World programs, Vital Keys to Happiness and Peace of Mind Through Prayer. Be sure to write down the phone number and address. You can also order this inspiring free audio CD on our website at tomorrowsworld.org. My friends, your own Bible reveals keys to real success. Your own Bible gives you solid keys for dealing with stress. We face stresses daily. We often face congested traffic as we commute to work. Construction noise may jangle our nerves. Then we may have arguments with family members or co-workers in the workplace. Trying to deal with unpaid bills and high credit card interest frustrates us and stresses us. How can you deal with stress? First of all, where can you get the greatest help for your problems? My friends, your Bible reveals the greatest keys, secrets, and principles for successful living. If you have your Bible, and we encourage you to have your Bible with you for each Tomorrow's World program, turn in your Bible to Matthew, the seventh chapter. My friends, God is the giver of every good and perfect gift, as it tells us in James 1, verse 17. He has promised to provide our every need if we trust in Him. Listen to this wonderful promise to you in Matthew 7, verse 7. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son ask for bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask Him? My friends, take God at His word. He wants you to pray to Him. He will help you even in times of stress. Our free audio CD features the program titled, Peace of Mind Through Prayer. Let's face it. Our environment, our workplace, our daily activities and travel, even our relationships can be stressful. And as many nations experience near bankruptcy, managing our finances can be traumatic. Turn in your Bible to Philippians 4 and verse 6. Here is a powerful principle that will help you cope with stress. Philippians 4 and verse 6. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. My friends, share your worries, your fears, your anxieties with your Father in heaven. Share openly your concerns and problems in prayer. Notice, however, that you need to pray with thanksgiving. Thank God for all the blessings you take for granted. Thank God for the privilege of coming before His throne of grace. In fact, the Bible encourages us to come before God's throne courageously, boldly. Notice that in Hebrews 4 and verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. God will give you help peace of mind, and great blessings if you come boldly in prayer to His throne of grace. But God also wants you to be a success in life. We can grow in faith through our trials. In fact, the Apostle Peter tells us in 2 Peter 3 and verse 18, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, my friends, God wants us to develop our talents, to grow and mature spiritually, he wants us to succeed. The world, however, vainly chases false ideas of success, but only God gives us true success. How can you achieve true success? We'll answer that question in the next part of the program. But first, I'd like to offer you this inspiring free audio CD or compact disc, The Seven Laws of Success. This 80-minute CD contains three Tomorrow's World programs, The Seven Laws of Success, vital keys to happiness, and peace of mind through prayer. You need this vital information. These programs will help you in your study of the Bible and can help to change your life. You may even want to share this CD with your family and friends. 
God wants you to apply these vital biblical keys to happiness, peace, and success. So pick up the telephone right now and request your free audio CD, The Seven Laws of Success. You can also order this free CD on our website at tomorrowsworld.org or you can write to us at one of our regional addresses. Today's offer is yours absolutely free. No cost, no obligation. To request today's free informative offer, visit us on the internet at tomorrowsworld.org. Go to tomorrowsworld.org. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World. Call now. In our fast-paced world, we can feel very stressed. We face information overload. We may enjoy high-speed computers, iPhones, and iPads. Oliver Berkman gave this perspective in The Guardian. Quote, 40 years after Alvin Toffler popularized the term information overload, we might as well admit this. Our efforts to fight it have failed. Unless you're willing to be radical to give up the Internet completely, say, the recommended cures don't work. The real problem isn't too much information, it's the feeling of being out of control, end of quote. My friends, you can control your life. You can manage your life in spite of stresses. You can achieve true success. The world has produced thousands of books on becoming successful, rich, and famous. But the problem, my friends, is that the world seeks the wrong kind of success. The world defines success as possession, power, and position. The advertising world promotes success as having material possessions, such as expensive autos, fine jewelry, large mansions, and yachts. But electronic toys, buildings, and cars do not produce lasting happiness. Yes, the world's way, my friends, is vanity. Or as it tells us in verse 14 of Ecclesiastes 1, Indeed, all is vanity and grasping for the wind. Why Solomon, after all his experimentation, came to a final conclusion? Let's read that in Ecclesiastes 12, chapter, verse 12. And further, my son, be admonished by these. Of making many books there is no end, and much study is wearisome to the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments. For this is man's all. For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. The conclusion of all Solomon's examination of life was that one should fear God and keep His commandments, for this is man's all. The NRSV states it this way, Fear God and keep His commandments, for that is the whole duty of everyone. My friends, we can achieve true success only by our relationship with God in Christ. Jesus emphasized a major key for true success in Acts 20 and verse 35. Jesus stated, It is more blessed to give than to receive. God's way of success is to serve, help, care, and give. Whatever a position a person holds in life, it will never amount to true success unless it is one of godly service toward others. Listen, one of the measures of true success is the degree of godly service one is willing to give. Emphasis on give. False success depends on the get principle, and that is the default characteristic of human nature. My friends, you need to know the keys to success in times of stress. Many decades ago, the predecessor of this work, Herbert W. Armstrong, pioneered seven biblical principles which he called the seven laws of success. These principles have helped millions. 
and they can help you, your family, and your children. What are those seven laws? Law number one is set the right goal. Successful people know that to accomplish anything of value, we need to set goals. If you don't know where you're going, you're not going to get there. Perhaps you're planning a career. Learn all you can about the career you may be considering and ask God to guide you. Remember the wonderful promise in Matthew 7, verse 7? Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks it will be opened. And always remember the most important goal. Turn in your Bible to Matthew, the sixth chapter. Here Jesus tells us that we need not anxiously worry about food and clothing, that if God provides food for the birds of the air, He will much more provide food for His children. Jesus was saying that all of the necessities we anxiously worry about are secondary to the most important goal of all. Matthew 6, verse 33, Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Yes, our ultimate goal is the kingdom of God. Success law number one is set the right goal. We'll continue with law number two in the next part of our program. To help you in your pursuit of true success, we'd like to offer you our inspiring free audio CD, The Seven Laws of Success. This 80-minute CD contains three Tomorrow's World programs, The Seven Laws of Success, Vital Keys to Happiness, and Peace of Mind Through Prayer. You need this vital information. Be sure to request your free copy. To request today's free informative offer, visit us on the internet at tomorrowsworld.org. Go to tomorrowsworld.org. The biblical laws of success will help you even in times of stress. My friends, I've personally striven to apply the seven laws of success for more than 50 years. They work. They are keys to true success. The world vainly pursues the wrong goals for success, as we've seen. Success law number one is set the right goal. Law number two is educate or prepare yourself. What knowledge do you need to achieve your goal? What preparations must you make? If you're choosing a career as a craftsman, you will need to work as an apprentice before you can be a journeyman. And many professions require at least a college education, if not an advanced degree. One should never stop learning. But make sure that the knowledge you are learning is true knowledge and not false education. In the book of Proverbs, we're told that true knowledge begins with an awe, reverence, and acknowledgement of God as the source of wisdom and knowledge. Proverbs 1 and verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And again in Proverbs 9 and verse 10, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. True Christians apply the second law of success by preparing for the coming kingdom of God. Are you preparing? Are you growing in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ? as it states in 2 Peter 3, verse 18. To reach your goal, you need to educate yourself and prepare to achieve that goal, whether physically or spiritually. The second law of success is educate or prepare yourself. Now the third law of success is maintain good health. How healthy are you? Do you have energy and vigor to work hard? Do you have the well-being to accomplish? Our very environment may be detrimental to our health. We have come to expect pollution in our 21st century. We have polluted our air, water, and food. It may be difficult to obtain genuinely organic food and pure drinking water, but we must do the best we can. You might consider starting your own vegetable garden. Our fast food, high fat, high sugar intake is not the steady diet God intended for humans. Other laws of health include maintaining a positive and tranquil mind and avoiding accidents. You will be able to achieve more effectively and efficiently if you have good physical fitness. The third law of success is maintain good health. 
Law number four is drive yourself. Yes, we need to put a prod on ourselves to move. The book of Proverbs gives us a graphic illustration. Proverbs 6 and verse 6. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise, which, having no captain, overseer, or ruler, provides her supplies in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you slumber, O sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall your poverty come on you like a prowler and your need like an armed man. We all need energy and purpose. We need to discipline ourselves to work effectively. The fourth law of success is drive yourself. The fifth law of success is apply resourcefulness. Think of this as the emergency law. Perhaps the road ahead to your planned career and goal looks clear and smooth. But life often brings unexpected obstacles. You may suddenly face a financial problem or a health emergency. What will you do? Always investigate your options. What resources are available? What agencies or individuals might be able to help? Of course, the first step in any serious emergency is to ask for God's help. But be sure to do your part and search out all the resources available. Don't just give up. Ask for a wise counsel. Proverbs 15, verse 22. Without counsel, plans go awry but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. The fifth law of success is resourcefulness. God wants us to be productive. We need to apply these biblical keys for fulfillment, true satisfaction, and happiness. We'll discuss the last two laws of success in the conclusion of our program. But first, I'd like to offer you this inspiring free CD or compact disc titled The Seven Laws of Success. This 80-minute CD contains three Tomorrow's World programs, The Seven Laws of Success, Vital Keys to Happiness, and Peace of Mind Through Prayer. These inspiring messages will give you vital principles for success, peace of mind, and happiness. These three programs will help you in your study of the Bible, and they can help bring true joy to your life and the lives of your family, friends, and children. God wants you to apply these vital biblical keys to happiness and success. So pick up the telephone right now and request your free audio CD, The Seven Laws of Success. You can also order this free CD on our website at tomorrowsworld.org or you can write to us at one of our regional addresses. Today's offer is yours absolutely free. No cost, no obligation. To request today's free informative offer, visit us on the internet at tomorrowsworld.org. Go to tomorrowsworld.org. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World. Call now. God's laws of true success have helped millions over the years. We've briefly discussed five of the seven laws of success. Success law number one is set the right goal. Law number two is educate or prepare yourself. The third law of success is maintain good health. Law number four is drive yourself. The fifth law of success is apply resourcefulness. The sixth law of success is Persevere toward your goal. Always have perseverance or stick to itiveness. During World War II, when the future looked gloomy for Great Britain, Prime Minister Winston Churchill spoke on October 29, 1941, at the Harrow School. He inspired his audience to persevere. He stated, quote, Surely from this period of ten months, this is the lesson. Never give in. Never give in. Never, 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 in nothing great or small, large or petty, 
Never give in except to convictions of honor and good sense. Never yield to force. Never yield to the apparently overwhelming might of the enemy. We stood all alone a year ago, and to many countries it seemed that our account was closed. We were finished. End of quote. Those who respond to God's calling are in a spiritual race to persevere. Hebrews, the 12th chapter, encourages us to look forward to our final goal. Hebrews, the 12th chapter, verse 1. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Apply the sixth law of success, run the race with endurance, or patience, as the King James Version has it, or perseverance, as the NRSV translates it. Never give up, run the race of life with perseverance. The sixth law of success is persevere toward your goal. We briefly discussed six of the seven laws of success, but to practice them successfully, you need the vital seventh law for true success. The seventh law of success is seek God's continual guidance. I encourage you to apply all seven laws of success. If you do, you will come to find the true abundant life Jesus promised in John 10, verse 10. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. My friends, true success comes only through the Savior of the world who taught us to love our enemies, to lay down our lives for one another, and to live by every word of God. When we do that through the power of the Holy Spirit, we will live a truly happy, productive, and successful life. And remember that the Holy Spirit is God's gift to those who repent and are baptized as it tells us in Acts 2, verse 38. Be sure to request your free audio CD on the seven laws of success, the Tomorrow's World telecast, magazine, Bible study course, and all the other free materials we offer are dedicated to educating millions to biblical truth so that they may be successful in this life, inherit the kingdom, and experience true success for all eternity. Be sure to join us each week on Tomorrow's World. Roderick Meredith and I will continue to share with you the teachings of Jesus Christ and the exciting end-time prophecies and their meaning. We invite you to join our colleagues, Wallace Smith and Rod King, who will also share with you the teachings of Jesus Christ and the prophecies of Tomorrow's World. So be sure to join us again next week right here at this same time. To view the Tomorrow's World telecast or request today's free offer, visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org. And remember to find us on Facebook and be sure to follow us on Twitter. The preceding program is produced by the Living Church of God.